This is Goku Sun DBZ, and welcome back for another game review. And today I am playing Marvel vs. Well, Capcom vs. SNK 2. Neo. Now this mode I chose you can actually customize your own team. And of course, I've already beat the game before, so I've unlocked the special bosses already. And I'm choosing Dark Ryu, and that's it. And that allows my character to be levels higher than my opponents. Which gives me a certain power advantage. Now I don't know which boss I will end up facing. Of course, as we see 3D backgrounds with 2D style characters. And of course, since I chose EO mode, Lies here these special abilities. Yeah, I have to beat everybody on the team. But given that's a level 1 versus a level 4, that kind of gives me an advantage. He's dead. There's one advantage he has. Akuma's moves. Yeah. It's interesting they put Morgan in this game, even though nobody else from Dark Stalkers is in it. This is gonna be a match to remember. Okay, that's it. He's paying. Hey, aren't you in the wrong universe, Morgan? Couldn't you be, I don't know, back in Vampire Savior, aka Darkstalkers? Yeah, I'm not going to resist being the crap out of my opponent. And look who it is, Terry from Fatal Fury. And of course also King of Fine. Okay, it's on the faces. But this game has is honestly a very enjoyable game. And if you're someone who really does enjoy 2D fighters and the game mechanics of traditional Street Fighter games, as well as King of Fine Semi Showdown. You'll definitely enjoy this game. And I'm glad it doesn't use the same battle, of course, system that, say, you've seen in, obviously, 
Marvel vs. Capcom series. So it gives it a, its own original feel. My personal wonder is, are we ever going to get a Capcom vs. SNK 3? Sometimes it takes some time to load. I save that for last so I can build up my points to get a better high score. But the series has been very good. Of course, the first game was exclusively released on, obviously, the Dreamcast. Then there was Capcom vs. SNK 2, and then there's the, uh, this one, which adds a special force combat system where you can use your second and your bottom joystick to do the special buttons so you don't have to do normal. But that's why it gives you option of AC mode and EO mode. Which is either going to be Bison or somebody else. And it's Bison I get a fight. Shanghai. Bison, which is one of my favorite adversaries. Go for broke. Fight. This was actually the game that brought back his Street Fighter 2 look, which they took away in the Alpha series and kept that look pretty much in all the Marvel's Capcom games. but sometimes you have to. Does come in handy as a good little special maneuver. Here we go, the final match before the possible special boss battle, which it's who knows who I'll end up facing at the bosses. Ooh, Zanga, and a girl actually if I remember correctly, she's from the uh, Samurai Showdown game series. This battle is about to explode. Fight. 
Well, thing if this is very useful, actually, against the big bosses in this game, is specials are very useful. Time to face the big man himself, Zynga. Which, interestingly, they went with instead of the Alpha style Zynga for course in this. And now it's time to face it. We'll see if I face a special boss or not. Hopefully, do so I can show you how awesome and powerful these guys are. If the lights go out, it means I get a fight soon. Okay, I am going to be facing a boss. Let's see who it is. Oh, it's going to be a souped-up version of one of them. I guess I'll be facing Shin Akuma, which is on par with Cyber Akuma and Oni Akuma. Yep, it's definitely Shin Akuma. I know from these video clips. This guy is insanely tough to defeat, I can tell you that right now. Sometimes... Uh, I can luck out with it, beat him the first time, sometimes it takes me four or five tries to beat this guy. He's on a whole nother level of difficulty. Here we go. Crap. I hate this guy. Ugh. Ow. close and use my special. Yes! Did it. First round is won. Just had to get him just at the right time to get it on. Whew. Whew. I tell you, that's not fun facing him. Yeah, of course, you really don't want to face him in normal arcade mode because then you have to be in two rounds. Good luck against that. That's the end of the review for Capcom vs. SNK2 EO for the original Xbox. Hope you enjoyed this little gameplay slash review. And stay tuned, of course, for uh, upcoming comic book reviews soon. Near FollowMeSquare.com slash GokuSunBBC as well as on Google+. Plus. And I'll see you all again soon enough here in YouTube land. Same YouTube time, same YouTube channel.